Hi there. The DPS EdTech team wanted to introduce you to some new meeting safety host controls in Google Meet. Recently, Google rolled out a few updates to Google Meets that will help teachers have more control over who can join a Google Meet and what they can do while they are in the Meet. These new controls and safety features will help keep Google Meet safe for our students. To start, create a new Google Meet. You can go to meet.google.com directly, or you can use the meet.google.com slash lookup slash nickname shortcut. I'm creating one right now called SHR test. Note, in order to be the host of your Google Meet, you must be the first adult to enter the lobby for your Meet room. Think of it like opening the door to your classroom. If another adult is there first, they will be the host and they will have these safety controls. Clicking on the meeting without entering is like opening your classroom door and standing in the hallway. Students can still enter the room without you present. So now let's take a look at those meeting safety options when you start the meet. Click join now. Let's close this and take a look here in the lower part of your screen at the shield. Click on the shield. And now you'll see all of the new uh, host controls that you can use uh, to make your meetings more safe. The first one we're gonna talk about is quick access. Quick access controls how people and who can join your Meet. To turn on those restrictions, you have to turn off quick access. When you turn it off, this will require any person who is not invited to the meeting to have to ask to join. Also, no one will be able to join anonymously, and even people who join by phone have to be granted entrance by you as the Meet host. If you have concerns about people joining from outside of your classroom of students, this feature helps you control who gets to come in. The DPS Ed Tech team recommends that a teacher enter the meeting and not just wait in the lobby when creating a Google Meet session either with a nickname or a direct link. For added security, turn off quick access as soon as you enter the Meet session. When you're ready to start class, you can turn it back on to make it easier for your students to join. For now, I wanna show you what it looks like for a student to try to join when quick access is turned off. So I have another, I have a student account that I'm logged into here. And so if we go here and click this, and go to that same lookup. Now we'll see something a little different than what we usually see for students, where they actually have to click Ask to Join. Okay, one thing to keep in mind about quick access, you can turn it off or on at any time during your Google Meet session. So if you wanted students to be able to join easily with a nickname at the beginning of class, but want to control who comes in later, whether they are students or even another adult, you could turn off quick access after you start the meeting. Another important thing to keep in mind, all students must leave the Google Meet before the host. The host must be the last one to leave in order to close the Google Meet for good. This is also true for meets that have nicknames. If the host is not the last to leave the meet, students will be able to rejoin that session and may even add other students without the teacher present. For extra, extra safety, just turn off quick access at the end of your meeting and no one can enter the room as an added safety measure. Okay, the next two features are pretty straightforward. You can choose to prevent students from sharing their screen and you can prevent them from chatting. When you have turned these switches to off, these options become grayed out for the students and the students cannot share their screens or chat. Like quick access, these features also can be turned on or off at any time during a Google Meet session. So let's take a look at what it looks like from a student standpoint. If their share screen control and send chat messages uh, option is disabled. Just so we don't have an echo, I'm gonna turn these things off. And I'm also going to mute myself. All right, so if we ask to join, now if you take a look at me as the host, I click Admit. Now, if you take a look as a student, if I click Chat, that option is grayed out. I cannot type. I also do not have the option to present my screen. As you see, there is no option in the bottom right-hand corner for me to share my screen. OK. Well, that's it for now. If you have any more questions about these new moderator controls, please contact your EdTech regional coach for additional support.